I am here in Liurnia of the Lakes with my second character, my hero character, who is currently level 50, have uh, been through Rhea Lucaria and got Rinala, the Queen of the Full Moon, but that's the only great rune I have. I think I may have found something that I haven't seen before. I'm gonna put on... Uh, I guess stamina. So I'm down here in the corner of the map. Near, you know, the bottom of the cliff. Underneath of the lake-facing cliff area. And... Behind these jellyfish, there is a cave. I think I've seen people explore this cave. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, in some Let's Play videos that I've seen. But this is the first time... Yeah, the Stillwater Cave. I believe this is the first time that I have personally seen this cave. So this is... This is brand new content. In Elden Ring. After... God only knows how many hundreds of hours. I think it's probably like 250 hours or 300 hours that I have played Elden Ring so far. It's like almost been three months since the game released. And I'm still finding new stuff. <laughs> still finding new stuff to look at. It's incredible. Crystal Cave Moss. Interesting. regular cave moss. So that's a big uh, big flower down there. Probably going to poison us. I hear a bat. Can we backstab bats? I doubt it. Uh, oh, the flower has poisoned me. Okay. They, oh, it's one of these guys. Guys that I don't know the name of. Oh wow, there's a lot of poison on this uh, in this place, and I need to heal quickly. Okay, so I think we can jump over here. Lucky. Yeah, I remember those guys from, I think it was Toxic Mushroom. Uh, what was that cave? I just was writing a description for the video of my first playthrough where I went through a cave in the Altus Plateau that had those guys in it. Was it the Unsightly Catacombs? I don't think it was that one. I think it was a different one. I call them, like, mushroom-headed people, <laughs> because I don't know what they're called. Uh... Oh, bats. That's why I was hearing sounds. Just keep swinging. I have stamina for days on this character. Hilariously, at the beginning of the... When I first started playing this game... Oh, Sage Gear. Sage Trousers, Sage Hood, Sage Robe. That's... that's new. Uh, what? What can we learn from that? Thick burgundy robe, attire of the wise sages who were deemed heretical. Evidence that the wearer was driven from town. Oh, I want to wear those on my my faith character, who's a mad her heretic, destined for the flame of frenzy. And I can barely talk because I have stuff stuck in my throat, apparently. So I need to remember to come in here on my faith character. But I'm, I'm actually having more fun with this 
character build than my faith character build. I feel like faith is going to be more fun closer to the end of the game. At the beginning of the game, this appears to be a dead end. That's where I came from. Uh, we don't want to go that way, so we jump across. Can we sneak past these flowers? Bats. Place is lousy with bats. Are they all dead? Nope, all except that one. Eh, that one's stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, he hit me! How did you hit me through the wall? Wish they would drop something so I would know what they're called. Glowstone. Uh, I think we gotta jump across. Hope we don't fall. This is the gooey poison that you can't roll in or else... Oh, there's another guy there, I see. Stake of America. Is that guy gonna follow us? Is that mushroom-headed guy gonna follow us? Doesn't look like it. I don't think I have anything for poison resistance yet. On this character. Uh, I'll wait till he gets closer. He's not going to get closer. I'm going to get poisoned, aren't I? Don't roll, don't roll. I guess we gotta use a thing to cure buildup. I guess we're gonna be running through some poison. Torch. That's very convenient. None of you guys are going to drop anything, huh? Whoa, I thought that one was attacking me from the left. That looks like a boss fog, and I think I know what the boss is. Poison grease. Okay. So, we need our shield. And we need to put healing on. It's a pretty short cave. Get this poison bloom. All right, here we go. Yep, the clean rot night. It is what I thought it was. I'm gonna run. Oh, I just rolled and poisoned myself. Good job. I'm gonna get over here. I think I'm a little over leveled for this at level 50. Yeah. Oh! I got poisoned. Yep. I was overleveled for that. 
Enemy felled winged sword insignia. Oh. That was a talisman, I presume? Yes, raises attack power with successive attacks. A talisman depicting a raised prosthetic blade. An honor bestowed upon the knights who fought alongside Melania the Severed. The wings symbolize Melania and her undefeated prowess. Though she never knew relief from the accursed rot she was born into, her blade was forever beautiful and relentless. Indeed, I can attest to that. All of that is true. <laughs> she is relentless. Anything here? Secrets? No secrets. Okay, interesting. Well, that was... That was the Stillwater Cave. It was pretty short. A short amount of new content. But it was kind of fun. The, uh... Clear Rot Knights. Those guys are, uh, kind of a pain. But, um... I wonder what the actual level range for this area is. Probably like in the 20s. Probably is the intended level range of this this dungeon. This cave, probably. Something like that. I should have done this on my faith character. I'm actually leveling much faster in my second and subsequent... Uh, second and third playthroughs. I'm, I'm leveling so much faster than I did on my first playthrough. I'm not sure why that is, except that I'm not going to places where I get killed a lot. <laughs> so, I'm able to keep my runes and level up more. Um... But that's really about the only difference. And the fact that I know where to go to get good stuff to improve my character to move forward. Anyway, that was the Stillwater Cave. A little bit of new content in Elden Ring.